Welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about Bacillus anthrax. This hardcore bacteria has been surviving from the ancient times till today. The bacteria is gram-positive, spore-forming rod. Once the bacteria infects certain tissues, for example the skin, the bacteria weakens and damages the cells enough to cause what we call a vegetative cellular state. This significantly disrupts and weakens the cells, but don't destroy them. The bacteria then germinates into this weakened cell and starts releasing toxins from there. So the bacteria now has a comfortable home to reproduce and form spores, while its toxin weakens the immunity so much that it survives, but other bacteria don't. Under the microscope, a colony of Bacillus anthrax is known as the Medusa's head. Anthrax is also very unique because it's the only bacteria ever that has a glutamate polypeptide layer. This provides them with unique resistance to a wide range of antibiotics. There are two main types of Bacillus anthrax, the cutaneous anthrax and pulmonary anthrax. The hallmark of the cutaneous anthrax is a painless cutaneous black scar. This is the common type and luckily it's usually non-lethal. Very rarely does it lead to bacteremia and death. We treat it with fluoroquinolones like ciprofloxacin. The other type, the pulmonary anthrax, which is also known as the wool sorter's disease, is used as a biological weapon, as it has 100% mortality rate, which means that each and every infection will be fatal and result in death. The bacteria is first harvested and cultured to produce spores and these spores can be spread to the victims. First, it will cause flu-like symptoms with runny nose, headaches, myelagia and fever and all of a sudden the patient will develop pulmonary hemorrhagia and mediastinitis and that's usually the cause of death. There are no effective treatments for pulmonary anthrax. Here's a small quiz for you. So which of the following toxins is produced by Bacillus anthrax? The answer is edema toxin. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.